Hey Honors English 205 students! In this video I am going to talk about how you can use Google and Google Scholar and other unique sources um, and websites to find material for your paper. So in the previous video I showed you how to use the library database, the Mesa library database, um, but sometimes you can find really great uh, material from Google as well. So Google is a great place to go. I think most of us have used it. Um, it's a, a search engine, google.com. You type in keywords related to uh, your topic and all kinds of great websites will pop up. So um, for the purpose of our videos, I'm going to use the topic of education in the Middle East. And um, here, you just have to, you know, be careful about using internet sources and make sure that you're using sources that come from, you know, credible websites. And, you know, I see that there's some information from UNICEF, which is an organization, and then there's also entrepreneur.com article. So, .org websites are, you know, for-profit, non-profit organizations. Um, they're not necessarily bad, but just know that they will have, you know, content and information that may be biased or geared towards their organization's missions and values. I'm not saying it's wrong to use these kinds of sources, but sometimes you may find some random person's website who has not really had, you know, uh, fact-checked or is just making up facts and statistics. And, um, you know, if it, if it seems if you are assessing a source and if it seems uh, that it may not be credible, then avoid using it. And um, no, you cannot reference, you know, information that you read in Wikipedia, but that doesn't mean you can't use Wikipedia. So um, for your research paper, just don't re cite Wikipedia as one of your sources, but you may go all the way down to the very, very bottom of the page in Wikipedia and you may find some great material um, that are scholarly and academic and you may use them to write your paper. Uh, so for example, um, let's look at this this link over here. It's written by um, Islam Hassam and Paul Dyer. It was published in 2017. The title of the article is called The State of the Middle Eastern Youth. It was published in the journal called The Muslim World. Um, you know, volume 107, uh, edition one, and it's, you know, about nine pages long, right? And you can click on it and it'll take you to that source. And this is a great critical, uh, you know, uh, this is a great credible source to use. Um, you can download its PDF and, you know, read the article and take content from it and use it to write, you know, different sections of your paper. So, um, you know, just make sure that you are, uh, you know, using great material. And, you know, when I look at, you know, the source and see that it has lots of editors and it has an editorial board, this shows me that these scholars and these authors have done their, you know, fact checking um, and, you know, before they have written, you know, this, this paper. So going back to the search engine, that's that about the Wikipedia. One other place that you can go to is called Google Scholar. I love Google Scholar because you find material, uh, scholarly and academic material, um, fairly quickly as well. So from the main Google page, just type in Google Scholar and then click on the very first link and then, you know, type in keywords related to your topic, so education in the Middle East. And then you'll start to kind of see these great articles and titles come up. If you see a link on the margin over here, you have access to it for free. But you might, you know, um, see a title and you might say, well, I really want this, but there's no link to it. Most likely, this is a source that you have to pay for. And I never recommend paying because there's just enough material for free for you to write your paper. So... For the purpose of our, um, you know, assignments, I don't want you to think that you have to go and pay for sources. Once you get to the graduate level or doctoral level, and if it's absolutely, you know, a paper that you need to get your hands on for your dissertation or your master's thesis, then you can, you know, pay for it if your library can't find it for you for free. Um, but for the purpose of our, you know, assignment, as you can see, 
there's tons of free material that you can click into. One thing about these search engines is don't just focus on page one of the search. Go to page two of the search. Go to page three of the search. You'll find a lot of great material um, as you go to the next page as well. And, you know, you can narrow down, you know, if it's too much, like here, there's about four million sources and that may be too much, right? So you can narrow down and say, you know, only give me sources that were published uh, since 2020. And that'll narrow down your search. It'll give you the most relevant, most recent published material for you to, um, for you to use for your paper. And um, I love Google Scholar because it has that cite button, so it'll cite the source for me. So here is the article, here's the PDF, I can narrow it down, I can read the abstract to see what this article is about and if it'll be helpful for my paper. But most importantly, it has that cite button, right? The one that looks like a quotation mark and I can click on it and there's a citation, I can just copy it and bring it into my reference page. So, so far I've shown you how to use Google, I've shown you how to use Google Scholar. Next I want you to know that you can also use YouTube because there's a lot of great, uh, you know, material uh, content that journalists, um, different organizations create and, uh, you know, again, use your best judgment. So you can type in education in the Middle East and there's great documentaries, great TED Talks that you can use for your research paper. Um, definitely, you know, stay away from, uh, you know, vloggers. Um, they may be sharing their personal experience, but maybe they're not backed up by research or studies um, about education in the Middle East. Um, but definitely, you know, judge your sources and um, see if they come from credible, credible um, websites. Um, so that's that, right, about YouTube. Netflix is also a great place where you can find documentaries. Um, there's a search engine for Netflix. And um, our library at Mesa also has a great stream video um, collection. So if you go back to the Mesa library uh, and scroll down to where it says research tools, click on where it says uh, streaming videos and then from there you can go on films on demand, canopy, or swank. Um, I always start with films on demand and type in keywords related to your topic. Again, keep it broad. All right, so I'm going to type in Middle East education and click on the search engine and you can find um, great you know sources uh, as well so like for example separate and unequal 60 years after the Supreme Court declared separate schools for black and white children this is for United States not necessarily Middle East this one is American Muslim teens talk this might one this one might be good but uh, the search engine and in, in the, you know, films on demand is not as strong. Um, here's a great TED talk about Arab women's rights, um, African children, uh, this one, the Islamic wave, you know, so, you know, it may require you to kind of filter to, through the titles um, a little bit more. Um, and, you know, you can play around with the keywords in the search engine, right? You can go to advanced search and uh, say to the system education and Middle East. This one might be a little bit better. And then click on search. And so just kind of practicing and familiarizing yourself um, with the... Uh, with these search engines is, is really important. Um, so let's say, you know, like this is a source that you want to use for your paper. Um, you can click on it and there's a transcript for it if you wanted to maybe quote from it. Um, but I love that little cite button, right? Comes in very handy. Cite the video, 
you can click on it, tell that you want the APA citation because that's the format we're in, copy it, and bring it into your research paper. So that's films on demand. Um, but we also have Canopy. Uh, Canopy like, is, is very limited. So let's go to Swank Digital Campus first, and then we'll do Canopy last. So in this one, you'll see the um, you know, search engine again. Type in education, Middle East. Notice that it's not a title. Um, and it's not a person. So this one might, you know, be a little bit, no, let's just press enter. Okay, nothing came up. Let's see if we can type in Middle East and see what comes up. Um, I like Swank a lot, uh, but uh, it has more popular <laughs> movies, you know, the kind of movies you may watch on a Sunday night. So for example, um, you know, Almost Famous or American Beauty. So they, you know, they're kind of like movie theater type movies and not necessarily documentaries. So if you're, you know, ever wanting to stream it and have a movie night with your friends and family, this one might be a great place to find some free stuff. Uh, you know, I don't think there's a site button here. Uh, so I don't think you can click on the video and get that because it's not really academic. It's more entertainment. So I don't know. You might be able to find a great film. Yes, you can use fictional films in your research papers. Um, let's do Canopy. And let's see what we find in Canopy. Canopy is very limited. Um, again, I don't know if you type in education and the Middle East. I don't know if anything will pop up. But, um, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of, you know, stuff. But here's called The Last Prayer. Right, 186 videos you can request for your library, but it doesn't mean, you know, we have it. Um, but uh, you might get some great titles and then just kind of go on Google and see if you can Google them and find them for free. But, um, yeah, so this is kind of like our library, our library search system. So um, definitely try Google, Google Scholar, YouTube, Netflix. Uh, films on demand, Canopy Swank, and just use a variety of different sources. Think about your research paper as if you went to a buffet, you know, like a Las Vegas casino buffet. And, um, you know, you want to have a little bit of spaghetti, pizza, a little bit of Chinese food, a little bit of seafood, right? You want to kind of have a variety um, of different flavors. And so with your sources for your research paper, you want some ebooks, some journal articles, some videos, some films. And you want to really look at the topic from multiple angles and learn about the topic from multiple angles and then see if you can kind of come up with a um, overall conclusion about what you learned about this topic from looking at all these angles um, and writing about it in your, in your paper. So that's that um, about, uh, you know, how to find sources. Again, I'm here for you if you want to meet one-on-one -on -one and look for sources together. Um, and then uh, we'll be able to get your research started and, um, yeah, and carry on. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys next time.